page 25, Dr Mitchell. At the bottom of that paragraph, it says the department now produces traffic light early warning reports on the financial position of each operator. So what are these traffic lights showing on the financial position of these operators? Um, What's this, happening at the moment? Th this is a report that we maintain on a, on a regular basis to uh, give ourselves um, our view of where we think um, train companies um, may be going over the course of the next uh, few months. Uh, we also monitor the condition of the holding groups, bearing in mind the experience we had with um, GNER um, some 18 months ago. Um, we, uh, we, we've, we seek to validate these um, views with the train companies and with the holding groups, and um, we're in the process of doing that at the moment. Um, well, you're just describing to me what I already know, which was in the, my question. What are these traffic lights showing at the moment? Um, I, I, I have difficulty um, saying what the exact... Um, um, how, many, how many lights are now at red? Uh, I, I, I would have difficulty answering that question, Chairman, because uh, that uh, is um, price-sensitive information um, on behalf of all the... Well, I wasn't companies. asking you which companies are showing at red. I, there's a lot of public money at stake here, Dr Mitchell, uh, three to four billion pounds worth of public money, and I think that as a public accounts committee, we are entitled to know in general terms what is going on. Um, I'm not I asking you to specifically mention a particular company, which I agree with you might affect the share price, but I do ask you to reconsider your question and see if you can give me some sort of answer to the committee which monitors public spending so we can be reassured that three to four billion pounds worth of taxpayers' money is not in danger. Is not in danger. I understand the question. Um, I would emphasise that um, these are our views of um, the likely risks going forward on train companies. I know so that your views. Well not be... How many lights are now at red? Uh, Peter, I have great difficulty answering that. You are refusing to answer that question. Okay, may I consult with my colleague? You may. Do you know how many lights are red? Yes, I do. Brief them later. Pardon? Brief them at the public domain. Chairman, uh, I'm very concerned about the effect that this is likely to have on share price. However, um, I accept uh, that um, you have a right to know this information. And may I suggest that we have a session in private at the end of this session in which I'll be pleased to give you that information. Today's Can I just pass? Maybe my colleague can ask a question about something that's been in the Guardian today. Yes, I mean, the Guardian today is full of uh, the woes of the uh, uh, franchisees and saying that they are asking for uh, a reconsideration of uh, the franchise terms and that they want uh, shorter trains, they want rewriting of financial terms of the financial agreement, they want to uh, uh, extra state funding for a thousand staff across the railway net and a whole series of figures here that they apparently have uh, given to the, the Guardian. Why, are, why aren't you aware of them? So and why can't we be told you know, them? Why can the Guardian be told them, not this committee? Um, well, the straight answer to your question, Mr Williams, is that uh, the Guardian report is inaccurate. Mm -hmm. um, I attended that meeting which the Guardian reported mm -hmm. and none of these issues were raised with the Secretary of State. Um, perhaps it would help if I, if I um, read an extract from an ATOC, that's the Association of Train Operating Companies, press release this afternoon in response to the Guardian article. May, may I read this? Um, the, the press statement says, commenting on today's article in the Guardian, Rail Firms asks Hoon for state help. An ATOC spokesman said, the story in today's Guardian is not an accurate reflection of the discussion which actually took place at the meeting between train operators and the Secretary of State yesterday. Train operators explain that they are weathering the current economic climate and as with all other responsible businesses are actively monitoring how events unfold. The specific ideas reported were not raised with the department but train companies underlined both their commitment to deliver quality services to passengers and their willingness to contribute actively to the economic recovery of the UK. Could I, as a financial journalist, could I just point out that if we're given information in camera, the interpretation outside 
will be that all or any of the companies might be in difficulty. And I think that will have a much more damaging effect than being specific. Because even those who may not be in difficulty, the speculation may well be that they are. Well, you've heard what my colleague says. Of course, uh, I will allow you to give us evidence in private, but you might uh, contemplate what Mr. Curry has said. And you might want to use this opportunity in public session to give some reassurance to the public. Uh, what, I may, what I may say at the moment is a small number of companies are showing red, and uh, I'm prepared to divulge the number in private at the end. Thank you. So um, let's si investigate or ask you, looking at paragraph 11 on page 